Hi everyone, Sean with jazpiececasebreaks.com here doing, on release day, Topps Allen & Ginter Baseball 12 box case break, pick your team number three. Pick your team number three sold out before pick your team number two, which is still in the store. One spot left in that, locked up in a filler, spot, uh, filler break. But release day, doing pick your team number three here. We got a case picked out for everything. No veteran commons ship, but just like everything, team, uh, any inserts, any parallels will go to the respective teams. This one obviously has a little bit of a wrinkle. All non-sport, non-Major League Baseball team uh, related will go to the non-sport spot, uh, which was actually the last spot gone and picked up direct, uh, straight up by Tice. So thank you very much, Tice, and everybody else for getting in on this. Um, we're looking at... There is one set that is baseball related, but not team associated, which is, I believe, the nine ways to reach base. Um, it's not associated with any specific team. It is baseball related, but that will go to the all non uh, baseball sport or team related spot. So here's the full list for the break from Matt from the Cardinal or Arizona Diamondbacks all the way down to Tice with the all non sport, non MLB. Uh, spot as well Before we get there we also have a randomizer of $250 in break credit if you had two or more spots in the break so Top five names on the randomizer Win $50 each so if you had two teams you get one entry if you had four teams you get two entries six teams three entries So on and so forth. So we'll go back to the list so we can give this uh, credit out because this is a long break And we're gonna forget to do this at the end so here was the original list for the break. I copied and pasted it over into this list here and then alphabetized it. So Brandon Morocco with two spots gets one entry. Uh, Jim Bly with two spots gets one entry. John Hayenga uh, with one, two spots gets one entry. Kip Johnson with two spots gets one entry. Matt Medlin, two spots, gets you one. Matt Stubblefield, four spots, gets you two. Uh, Michael Gallucci with two spots, that'll get you one entry. Ryan Harold, two spots, will get you one. And Walter Summers with two spots, will get you one entry as well. So we've got. 10 people in the break, so half of these people will be getting $50 in break credit. Good luck, everyone. So here is the list. Dice roll here. See top five names after. One and a five, six times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, and it was six, right? Six. Six and final time. Congratulations to Jim Bly, Matt Stubblefield, Ryan Harold, Kip Johnson, and Brandon Morocco. You guys all got yourself an extra $50 in break credit each, which will be given to you at the end of the break. Uh, for anybody that's watching this on replay, skip ahead. There should be a hyperlink down in the comments of the video as far as when the uh, um, recap is. But there will be a recap at the end because this is going to be a long break. So buckle in, everybody. Let's print the list and get ripping. Here's our case, special case. You can see up here on the Nick cam also. What I'm gonna do to make some room. Pop this thing up. 12 boxes, guys.
you can see those boxes here on the Nick cam. did one break earlier um, I think they only had he only had one rip card in that case but I think typically there should be about two rip cards which you have a uh, exclusive offerings inside of those rip cards See how this pack stacking goes. Maybe we can do multiple boxes at a time in pack stacking. Oversized. Maybe we can save all the oversized till the end. That's what we'll do. So we'll save all the oversized. I'm gonna put them right here in front of the uh, in front of the of the keyboard, so that we know. Yeah, Mark. Oh, it was a double rip. That's interesting. Summer triple whip. Hmm. That'd be an interesting look. It was Griffey and Shohei. Ooh. The large box topper had a triple rip. Okay. Was the double was the double rip in a box topper? A box topper, Mark. It was in the card pack. So is it like a rip on each side then? Option? Just like a double sided card? Hmm. That's kind of cool. What would you do with it, Mark? Would you rip it? I think I'd be too scared. <laughs> I don't know if, yeah, that's the hard part. I mean, as an Angels fan, I love Shohei Otani, but I think the Griffey, the fact that it's Griffey makes that, right? I'm saying I think it's the Griffey that makes it hard to rip it yeah A-Rod I think that's an easy pretty easy decision unless you're an app like was it Yankees A-Rod or Mariners A-Rod unless you like were like if it was the Yankees unless you're like a diehard angel or, like Yankees fan and you love A-Rod or like Mariners and love A-Rod I think it'd be an easy decision
Maybe three. Let's see if we can get three boxes at a time. Because the ripping is the part that takes the longest. Yeah, the packaging is super cool. It looks incredible. See? That's actually a very good, uh, that's a good, good little tip there, Brad. Oh, I know, Prim. I know. Trust me, I, when I was listening earlier, I was like, I'm going to end up doing one of these tonight by myself. I know it. Like when I did Don Russ football last time by myself. Well, that was 16 boxes, I think. It's just the, the pack stacking is the, the part that takes the longest. When I did the pack stacking for Joe on that Don Russ football, it's literally like 45 minutes of just pack stacking, pretty much, ripping and stacking. So that's why the best part about this is, if you're watching a replay of this, just click the hyperlink down on the bottom or the timestamp that's in there, or, or forward back to that. Why, Prim, if you got me to do it? Unless I'm breaking. And what are you gonna do, hire an intern and be like, oh, by the way, you don't have defined hours. <laughs> you're gonna be here <laughs> until, until everybody in the chat tells you you can go home. <laughs> it's a little bit hard. You're going to be on chat. you got to be dealing with a bunch of people that are going to be <laughs> someone that lives a few blocks away on self. Who knows what the people in the chat are going to say to you? They could be nice. They could be mean. They're probably going to be nice. We got a real rough group group of individuals. Obviously at the end we'll do a auto recap, relic recap, and pretty much anything that I think is super cool. So the recap might be 10 minutes on its own. So I have a feeling there's gonna be lots of cool stuff in here. And this is the box we'll start on. Um no, you know what? Let's keep these on camera for now. So those are the two box toppers you can see, the first two. I'm gonna add this one to it. I don't want anybody to think we're pulling the old switcheroo on you guys. The deepest, darker, darkest corners of, uh, of the internet. Never underestimate the craziness they can come up with. Mr. Mini, Aaron Judge. See, Mark? I'm excited to see him play, Tice, when he's not playing against my team. I wish, I wish him all the luck. I hope he throws for 400 yards, five touchdowns, and just looks like an absolute monster because one he's pro he's really good and two 
that's just going to make the Chargers defense look that much better. So. But hey, Casey Hayward. I mean, the other thing, Casey Hayward won Defensive Player of the, of the Week. AFC De Defensive Player of the Week. We're good defense. Yeah. That was weird, Mark. I'm pretty sure they probably worked with him on this week. They were like, hey, so once you're in the grasp of one of the defensive linemen, don't just wildly look to get rid of the ball. Because he threw that, he threw that, he threw that backwards lateral that was a fumble out of bounds. He had some real weird things where, like, I think it was, like, he was confident, and then all of a sudden, like, he got hit in the face, and he was just like, oh, God. He's like, this is real. And they're fast, and they're big, and they're mean. So. I think, like, all his training kind of up in the air. Yeah, and, and, that, and that's, I mean, that's what a lot of rookies do, and that's where their downfall is, is they try to make too many plays instead of just taking what's there or taking the loss and, and not making a mistake. So. But yeah, you could see in like you could see in his mind as soon as he was touched or like kind of in somebody's grasp and he wasn't going to get out, he was looking around trying to find somebody he could pitch the ball to or whatever and it was just like, uh-oh. He, he threw it right to Melvin the one time, right? Or was that Denzel? Yeah. I'm sure this week is going to look like if, if that if last game his first game was like watching a movie on on fast forward I feel like this week's going to be either normal speed or like at like 75% speed he's probably going to have like the biggest you know leap from game 1 to game 2 even though it's only been 4 days I'm sure he was probably itching at the chance to get back on the field Last spot mojo, man. Thank you very much. Good luck. So that uh, Judge Mini, Matt Medlin, New York Yankees. A cave where monsters live. All these non-sport entries, like that mini, a cave, and this, going to Tice. Oh, that's crazy. They do have eyes that reflect at you at different for the cave. Chrysler Building, Tice. Kenley Jansen. Uh, Dodgers, Kevin Parker. So you can see, like, this Boyd veteran common, not going to ship. But obviously these minis do. Bobby Dorr. Um, obviously rookies, all rookies will ship as well. Castellanos for the Reds. Uh, and Matt Stubblefield. Vladdy Jr. Toronto, Max Cheat. Down on the farm, Combine. Kyle Lewis, rookie. Seattle Mariners, John Hainenga. 
Smoltz. Braves, Chris Walker. Uh, these are the gemstone quartz there. Going to you, Tice. Bo Bichette, rookie. Toronto, Max Chi. Uh, Conwy Castle, Citadels and Safe Holds. There you go. We got a rip card already. For the Chicago Cubs, numbered 88, or sorry, 68 out of 99. Anthony Rizzo, Ryan Harold, Chicago Cubs. I don't know, Brad, do they? You sure they don't have one? Very cool. First rip card of the break. Where is the rip? Oh, it was on top right there. Okay. I see it. Uh, I would too. But who knows? Nine ways to first, mini. Tice, that's going to you. The cow, also going to Tice. Tice bought into a break, ended up going home with a cow. Darren Erstad, mini. For the Angels, Jim Bly. Aaron Nola, Phillies, Jordan, debut premiere. Jordan, Astros, Jared Morling. A sewer drain where monsters live. That one's for you, Tice. Creepy. Aquino for the Reds uh, and Matt Stubblefield. Doby. Uh, Garden. Yusai Kikuchi relic for the Seattle Mariners. Going to John Hanga. Zach Allen, mini rookie. Joe is stoked that uh, Chip and Joanna Gaines are in here. Jose Abreu. Sorry to Ozzy Albies, Minnie. closet where monsters live. I definitely do. Barry Larkin. And Relic Casey Hayward, Chicago Cubs. Looks like it's some of the logo in there. Get some red instead of just white. Cubs, Ryan Harold. Nice little box for Ryan. Got a relic and a rip card. So there are three hits per box. Obviously, the rip card is considered one in that case, um, plus the two relics. Not always will you get an auto, stuff like that. So. One box down, one rip card found. Okay. 
Weston. Max Muncy. Tony. A barn. Moises Alu. Fun name to say. Masahiro Tanaka. Patronus Towers. I think uh, collecting that high rise set would actually be a lot of fun. Under the stairs. Definitely creepy people there. McKay. Definitely monsters under the stairs. Glossy base cards are one in every 7,000 packs. Damn. There's one... Um, well, let's see if we can find some of those. Kirby 8. They have an insert. Well, there you go. Mini. Bat Relic. Jeff Bagwell. Houston Astros. Jared Morling. There's a Mookie Betts mini attached to the back of that. Very nice. Uh, bugging out. That's the praying mantis. I think those things creepy. Chicken. Uh, Escobar. Friedman Mini. Steinway Tower. Andy Cohen. You meant who who wants Prim? Bags? Good old baggy bagsy? Yeah. He seems like a good guy. I like him. We got a Safari Sites Lion Cub, Corey Tice. An old trunk. Definitely monsters in there. Shanghai Tower. Yordan for the Astros and Jared. Bregman. Aquino. Reds, Matt Stubblefield. Didi. Yamamoto. Bags. Second rip card. Eloy Jimenez. We had a North Siders, now we have the South Siders. Chicago White Sox. Uh, going to Adam Harper. What do we say about this one? Would you rip chat? Four out of 99. You'd rip that too? <laughs> Prim's a risk taker. Jim Abbott Mini. V 
Bueller Mini. A Silo. Johnny Cueto, Relic. That should be our third hit. Gavin Lux, Mini. Sewer drain again. Luis Robert, White Sox, Adam Harper, Kyle Lewis, Mini. For the Mariners, John Hayenga. Randy Johnson, Mini. Chicken for Tice. Nyjah Houston. Tice, that's for you. Championship skateboarder. This guy's incredible. If you've never seen him compete, you should go check it out. Nick Senzel Mini. Highlight videos from him. Pretty pretty impressive. Clevenger Mini. Dunst Mini. We got a pig now. So we got a cow, a chicken, and a pig so far, Tice. Bo Bichette. Toronto Blue Jays, Max Chi, Kyle Lewis, Seattle Mariners, John Hayinga. Ernie Banks Mini. Comcast Tech Tower. The Closet, Monsters, definitely. Lindor. Um, I don't know, Tice. Sensu Chu, Relic. Texas Rangers, Matt Medlin. A Cave, Steinway Tower, Brendan McKay, Tampa Bay Rays, Michael Gallucci, Victor Robles Mini, Nico Horner, Cubs, Ryan Harrell, Tim Raines Mini, Joe Maurer. Ken Young, Ryan Sandberg, Silo, Willie Mays, Digging Deep, Blue Appetite, 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 Citadel and Strongholds, Bourntage Fort, Shanghai Tower, Charlie Blackman for the Colorado Rockies, uh, Matt Stubblefield, Nine Ways to Reach, Catcher's Interference, There are a lot of uh, non-sport autos, though, Tice. And a 
And relics, too. Let's find you a, a petrified uh, uh, woolly mammoth. Burrow, too, would be cool. But, I mean, Tice, if you had the choice between having a piece of a petrified woolly mammoth or a Joe Burrow auto, which one would you take? See? Yeah. Oh, are they? Okay. Thanks, Jeremy. Yeah, it is fun. It's fun to rip. Such interesting stuff. Um, I will personally check the backs of these before uh, before to see if anything's hand numbered, guys. Just so you know. In the interest of time, right now, though, we're gonna put them in the team boxes and we'll check that stuff. I'll check them later, though. Jeremy, I wouldn't disagree with you. I mean, I think professional athlete would be pretty cool. But, but it's, it's, you know, we're splitting hairs. <laughs> I wouldn't I would never pass up the opportunity to be a professional athlete, I guess. That's what I'm saying. Kids. Oh. Does this mean it's a rip card? If it's a mini? One ND4, N43 box loader card in here? I am. Uh, no, it does not mean that? Okay. I got excited, Brad. Uh, laser Jet. Thanks. But I, I am no athlete. <laughs> Definitely no athlete. My girlfriend wishes I was an athlete. So I'm guessing with the thickness of the rip cards, I would be able to tell if it was a... Brad, that takes so much training. I would love to try some of those competitions, though. I'd like to join a food group that of, like, amateur eaters that, that go to places and try those food challenges. It'd be so much fun. I think that'd be my dream job. Or like my day off, if that's what I did. They eat a ton of lettuce to help, oh. I guess that makes sense. Cause it, it makes room, but it doesn't add bulk, right? Something like that. What food do I think I would dominate? Let me think about that for a minute. Sushi, Mark. I didn't have to think anymore. Sushi. Might try that in a, in a buffet laser jet. 
That's that. It, that's a mentality though. You get you kicked out of a. Get you kicked out of. Oh God, Brad. That make that would make me sick. Um, that's the kind of mentality that gets you kicked out of a out of a. Um, tuna. Randy. Tuna. Uh, and if I if I get to choose spicy tuna, I feel like if you put pokey in front of me and it was spicy tuna and fresh tuna, I feel like I could legitimately eat like barrels full of that. Oh, hundred percent. California roll pokey. No, I have not Tice. Every place I go with pokey, I just it's it's make your own. <laughs> Why well, any any food challenge is a recipe for disaster, ladies and gentlemen. I just think that like like if I, in my head, in my in my unreasonable head, which one would I be able to do? That one. That's kind of cool, Randy. So that's our fourth large oversize, and we also have one small box topper. We there's one place in Costa Mesa, here, so close to closer to where I live than than here, in Redondo uh, or Hermosa. Um, called Uroku. That's actually legitimately good, really good. Record for mayo, one gallon in eight minutes. Oh, we got a hot, this is a hot box. You'll see all of these cards are foil. See? I feel... Yeah, make sure that there's no mayo bottles and stuff. Randy, do you, do you hate mayo? That's legitimately a rule you have? No mayonnaise in the house? <laughs> that is so interesting. Uh, so, depending on the person, Laser Jed, I, I feel like, yes, Americans do love ketchup. My girlfriend and her dad love ketchup. They legitimately put that on anything. But, you know, Brad, going back to your record for mayo, one gallon in eight minutes, I feel like I could do that. I don't... I don't know. I mean, it would be a terrible idea, but I feel like I could do that. White Alfredo pasta with ketchup? Oh, God. Yeah, that's exact. That was the other thing I was going to ask. Prim... What, what's, there's, there are different types of mayonnaise? Explain. Yeah. That was dumb, Brad. Do you remember when they tried to make ketchup different colored and fun for, uh, for kids? It was like, it's ketchup. Oh, okay, okay. Japanese mayo is really good. I, never mind. I know, I know exactly what you're talking about now. Okay, yes. Japanese mayonnaise is delicious. Um, I get it. It, it. It's on top of uh, on on top of some of the custom rolls that you get. Yeah, Japanese mayo is amazing. Dumb me for thinking that there wasn't other versions of mayo. Um, specific sushi rolls will have it drizzled on top with like eel sauce and stuff like that. Randy, would you uh would you accept um? Randy, you're the one that said that you, you refuse to allow mayo in your household, right? Yeah. Would you accept Japanese mayo? Co co okay. Mark, is it Kewpie or Koopy? So would you, would you, allow, would you allow, allow Japanese mayo in the house, Randy, or no? No mayo at all. <laughs> Kewpie. Okay. Okay. Kewpie. Oh, Tice, you got to try it. It's so good. Once you try it, you'll never have anything else. Like, you won't go back. Mm. 
It's delicious. It is expensive. Ooh. Wait a second. A woman ate three and a half jars of mayo in three minutes? Oh. Brad, my stomach hurts just reading that sentence. And my second question is, is she single? do it give us a it's only three minutes long brad you can do it and, and you come back and you won't have missed anything i'm still pack stacking you can come back and let us know did she throw up before or after jesus laser jet it's, it's 130 i'll allow it I think even YouTube, uh, YouTube's chat algorithm realized it's late enough that it's like whatever. It's the wild, wild west around here nowadays. That's okay, Randy. Nothing wrong with that. I always appreciate contributors to the chat. People that want to hang out. Listen. Being a spectator is always a good thing. That's what I'm saying, Mark. So, I am a massive fan of hot food. Not like temperature hot, but like spicy hot to the point that um i grew up like my dad was always like a hot a hot sauce guy so like every <laughs> and now that i think about it it's like man my brother and i were so lame every gift for like christmas birthday all this stuff we would always get him like different kinds of hot sauce from like that was like this one's you know guaranteed to make you cry and stuff like that or this one you have to use with like an eyedropper because it's so so hot you can only put so a little bit at a time on there but like it stuck with me so now i'm a fan of hot sauces we went to a uh, hot sauce convention and those are some weird people and it is so much fun gavin lux for the dodgers uh kevin parker Uh, Vasquez, Christian Vasquez, Relic, Boston Red Sox, David Verkommen. You try that Korean Fire Noodle Challenge? Not really. I haven't tried either one of those, unfortunately. I would love to. I just got to find it and do it. Randy
mean, does it make you uncomfortable talking about mayo too? When you go to restaurants, do you have to say it, like, make sure be like, hey, no mayonnaise ever, ever. Nico Horner, Cubs, Ryan Harold, Brendan McKay, uh, Rays, Michael Gallucci. Under the stairs, Tice. This is so much fun. I love hearing about other people's like little little oddities. Uh, Brett, George Brett, relic for the Kansas City Royals. Uh, that's going to Kip Johnson. So what? Ta um, Dustin, I know the I know what it looks like, but I can't think of the name of the mayo that I usually use. If I I don't have any at home, but like if I ha if I was gonna go buy some, I know exactly which kind it is. Mir is it Miracle Whip? The mini should still be attached. Was that what you were talking about? The one that was attached to the back of it? Okay. I would have seen it when I top loaded it, or uh, penny sleeved it at least. But thank you for the keeping an eye out for me. Jay Buner. Johnny Bananas. JK Dobbins Mini. Horse. We're getting you a full, a full farm. Nolan Ryan Mini. Yeah, yeah. Because of the texture on it. Is tuna with mayonnaise? Absolutely. I think that's like the base that most people make tuna sandwiches with. Giraffe Safari Sites. I feel like that's like the base, right? I don't think I've ever, I, I can tell you right now, I don't think I've ever made myself a tuna sandwich. Nice. Mini Auto, Nick Senzel, Cincinnati Reds. Matthew Stubblefield. Uh, Lady Bird Beetle, the rooster. Tuna and orange juice? Brad, are we talking about like fresh tuna? Like drinking? Okay, so fresh tuna, canned tuna, mixed with orange juice. Ooh, I don't know if I can even try that. Fish and citrus are a natural pairing, but like orange juice is different than uh, than what's it called? Than like lemon. Obviously, this being foil, all of these will ship. Let's see 
some good. Dansby Swanson. Mini auto. With the frame. Atlanta Braves, Chris Walker. The Attic and Ken Griffey Jr. minis. Nico Horner, debut premier, Chicago Cubs, Ryan Harold. Bichette, Toronto Blue Jays, Max Chi. Gavin Lux for the Dodgers, Kevin Parker. Tatis Mini, Cheetah Mini. A friend used to eat protein shake mixed in a blender, tuna and orange juice. I'm not going to try it. I'm not even going to tell you I am. I couldn't do it. I feel like I'd be wasting wasting the tuna. I, I probably wouldn't finish it. I don't see how I would. Babe Ruth Mini. So you started out by eating a can of tuna and drinking OJ with it. Just based off of that suggestion, Brad? their burger and fries and their milkshake honestly laser jet that's not as uncommon a lot of people do that i mean especially here in california with the uh, um with what's it called in and out in and out burger with a milkshake Ooh. kyle lewis seattle mariners john hayinga How good it was? It is really good. oh oh that orange juice thing. No, still not gonna can't can't say anything for that. Johnny Cueto, relic. San Francisco Giants, Walter Summers. Uh, I don't think I've never done four by four, Brad. I'll do two double doubles though. Um, like non-sports card, there's, there's some really cool stuff. We're hoping we can find some. Like the, um, I want to find the Petrified Mammoth for Tice. Under the Bed, Michael Brantley. In and out won't do more than the 4x4, I thought, if you paid for it. Nice. Luis Robert Foyle. Chicago White Sox, Adam Harper. So, Laser Jet, In and out their, their burger, the double double? It's, no, so it's a. It's four patties, so it's a patty with cheese. So their single burger is a patty with cheese. A double-double is one patty, one slice of cheese, then another patty and a slice of cheese. So a four by four is a patty, cheese, patty, cheese, patty, cheese, patty, cheese. And pretty much, if you pay for it, they'll, they used to make whatever you want. So if you ask for like an eight by eight, 
they would literally make eight cheeseburgers and stack them on top of each other for you. Andrew Benintendi relic for the Boston Red Sox. David Verkommen. Yeah. <laughs> no, they, they do not. There is a, uh, I know there's a restaurant I read about that has like a, a, I don't know if it's called like the Heart Attack Cafe. It's in like Texas or something like that. No. Brad, that was a hot box. So every one of them is foil. So every card was like this. It was a hot box. All the cards were like this. We haven't hit a glossy. I do a animal style with grilled onions and add chopped chilies. It's a life changer. Luis Robert, Chicago White Sox again, Adam Harper. The Attic. Jock Peterson Mini. That's the one. And then somebody, but like they've actually had multiple people that have had heart attacks there, right? John Means, relic for the Baltimore Orioles, uh, Walter Summers. Warthog, Safari Sites, and a cow. Yeah. Uh, laser jet that also that also m might be why our, our healthcare system is so expensive too is our portion size who knows yeah I heard their food challenge is like insane to the point that like you have to sign a waiver to even do it saying like you won't hold them accountable if you do have an heart attack Cincinnati Red, Matt Stubblefield, Aquino Gavin Lux uh for the Dodgers, Kevin Parker. Another rip card. Christian Yelich, 69 of 99. Milwaukee Brewers. Rory Wagner. 69. Nice. Brendan McKay. Tampa Bay. Michael Gallucci. Michael Gallucci calling uh, Brendan McKay again. Nico Horner for the Cubs, Ryan Harold. I I don't think I could rip the 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 uh, what's his name. The Yelich. Come on. He, like, Yelich would have been MVP again last year if he hadn't got hurt. I don't think I could rip Yelich. Probably top, top three player in all of baseball. Like, if you're going to rip Yelich, you're going to rip anybody. You know what I mean?
Well, I, yeah. I think everybody would prim. Just, just for, out of anger. That's cool. Just a bright short print. Um, no, there's. I mean, you can get custom top load. Like they have top loaders uh, marked, like even for those. But they're like, if you go to like Ultra Pro, they have like monster top loaders. Like, the biggest we typically use here is, like, 180, but they have stuff like 360 and everything. I think if it's a rip card... I think if it's a mini out of a rip card, I feel like it's um, it's still got it's still a short print, like a short. I don't think it's part of the regular set. You know what I mean? That's yeah. I mean, yeah. I think the thicker a card is, laser jet, the more likely those corners are gonna be. You know. Unfortunately. Yeah, and that's the thing, is like, it sucks, but at the same point, the fact that we know that they're all like that, I wouldn't stress out about it, you know what I mean? They're thick cards like that aren't cards you're gonna grade. If they're good, you can put them in a one touch, that's like a special thickness for that. Um, but yeah, you're not, you're not grading those cards.
No laser jet. Uh, Vanessa and uh, Jason are still here. Jason's still over on Instagram. Carter's just went flying. Luckily, these brake mounts. But when they leave, like if I'm still here, they just lock the door behind me. So even if I'm by myself, I'm safe. That's what it sounded like, Brad. If it did, Tice, that would that would be the last time I was ever here about it alone. <laughs> I'd be like, nope, can't do it. No. I remember when I when uh, we uh, had the Instagram breaks behind the card bar. There was like late nights when I would be over there. Somebody had. Oh, well, there you go, Brad. Um, somebody had, like, they have, like, a Ninja Turtle. Not, like, life-size, but they had, like, a Ninja Turtle over there. And it was, like, propped up on something and standing there. And all of a sudden, I remember, like, it wasn't there. And then one, like, Sunday or whatever, when I came in, they were, like, moving stuff around. And it was on the other side of the card bar, just out of, like, my peripheral vision to the right. And like near where the front door was, so it looked like somebody was standing there, and also like it just creeped me out so badly. To the point that like eventually I had to go move it. So I was like, nope. Like it was just out of my vision that I couldn't see that somebody was standing there. So terrifying. So for anybody in the chat who's had the uh, 
privilege of having the three regional favorites for burgers. Shake Shack, Whataburger, and In-N-Out. And like specifically maybe people that aren't like regional to one of those areas where that's the that's the choice. Anybody uh anybody have any personal preference? You got a few Shake Shacks? None in South Carolina? You're not, Prim, you're not a, not an in and out fan anymore? I don't think it can ever get old to me. Like, legitimately. Whether it's like, Three in the morning, eleven in the morning, or any time in between. Outside of those hours. The melt's like a better, like a different type of chain, though, right, Prim? Like, there's better burgers. This is probably one of the better centers I've seen today out of the Roberts that are full. Nice. And it's orange out of 25. Jesus. Fuck, that shit's crazy. I don't think any box like that is going to lose any money. Really? Like, everybody's saying the Boba Shed's like 200 bucks big, yeah. Robert's four. Tatis is like 200, 200 two, 250. Yeah, I pulled a blue out of him earlier. Like, I was like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, we've had the, the case breaks were moving earlier and then they just stalled. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, that sounds so good, Prim. Yeah. Protein style is great. Uh, Brad, you know what you should try next time you're down here? That same thing, but instead of protein style, uh, the Flying Dutchman. So, you know, like, the uh, if you've ever seen the animal style fry like the animal style like um containers it, it comes in that and they literally take it's like a protein style but without the lettuce so they'll still they'll, they'll still put all your toppings and everything and on, on there and everything like my girlfriend loves that now i'm like oh okay she swears by it i trust her kyle lewis mariners Uh, Walter, or er, sorry, John Hayenga. Bichette, Blue Jays, Max, Cheat. Jeff Dye, actor and comedian relic. Tice. Alvarez, Astros, Jared Morling, Aquino for the Reds, Matt Stubblefield. Under the bed, Monsters. They definitely are. Xander Bogart for the Red Sox, David Verkommen.
Uh, I'm down there all the time, Prim. The melt? Okay, I'll go check it out. I have the day off tomorrow. If I get hungry enough. Maybe. I'll have to see if they have an outside dining area. For now. I'm guessing it's probably over by uh, UCI or in the in the spectrum. One of those two, most likely. Robert, White Sox, Adam Harper. Spectrum. Okay. Well, then they definitely have outside seating. I think I know what you're talking about. Casey Hayward for the Cubs, Brian Harrell. Nine ways to first. Mini. Benji. Or, sorry, Yachty. Not Benji. Younger brother of Benji. Do you think, even though the Griffies were incredible, actually, I don't know. If you include Mays, the Bonds family, I'd say the Molinas have to be, like, one of the best baseball families of all time, right? Like, top three, top two? Like, I'd say they're above the Boons, right? Griffey's got to be there, the Bonds family, especially if you include Willie Mays as his uncle. Kyle Schwarber, Cubs, Ryan Harold. Nico Horner, Cubs, Ryan Harold. Sutters. It's cool stuff, Laser. Super cool stuff. I mean, you can get some ridiculous names on there. But, like, some of the stuff is so crazy that, like, it's like, it's super cool, but it's like, oh my god, who would, who's ever going to buy this? You know what I mean? Because it's just so many relics or so many different things from, like, different teams or whatever. It's just like, there's lots of different markets that it would fit into, but not one specific, you know, for all of them. Lucchesi, Relic. Joey Lucchesi for the San Diego Padres, uh, John Hyenga. Sewer drain. Jordan. Houston, Jared Morley. Kerry Wood. Jackie Robinson, Minnie.
Clint Frazier, Bat Relic, New York Yankees, Matt Medlin, Gavin Lux, for the Dodgers, Kevin Parker, Safari Truck, Safari Sites, For Bly Levin Mini. Played for the Angels for a hot second. Good old Burt. Yeah, I didn't realize that like it was glow in the dark, Dustin, and then like all of a sudden at a right at like a, a certain angle, you see the light, like the eyes, and you're just like, Oh, that's creepy. But now it makes sense that it's the reason you see it at different angles is because of the, yeah, you can see there's a person, see, under the stairs. Luis Robert, White Sox, Adam Harper. Brendan McKay, Tampa Bay, Michael Gallucci. And who are you? That is Najla Knight. Auto. She is a professional bull rider, apparently. Dustin knew that right off the bat. Dustin, is she a good professional bull rider or something? She looks like she's 10, maybe 14. She looks like a child. Oh, that's funny. Well, there you go, Tice. <laughs> you still got more to go. You still got to find you that uh, petrified woolly mammoth. Relic, Glaber Torres. New York Yankees, Matt Medlin. Swamp. Damn it. Eloy. Bobachet. Toronto. Max Chi. Kyle Lewis. Seattle. John Hayenga. Mike Soroka. Relic. For the Atlanta Braves. Chris Walker. Garcia Parra. Die. Mancini.
Wait, you can put them together, Prim? There you go, Tice. That actually would be pretty cool. You're talking about the full-size skyscraper ones? I would actually like to see that. I mean, they all look really cool on their own. Uh, Boba Shet Mini, Toronto, Max Chi. That's cool. That'd be a nice set to get uh, framed in like a horizontal frame. I can see displaying that on a wall. Laser dead. They're expensive, man. They're because I mean they're rare. There's not a lot of them. Like you're not getting one a box. You know what I mean? Like we've done a full case, and I think we've maybe hit what three autos, or we're on, I'm about to do the last quarter of the case. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. All right. Then. Thanks, dude. Later. Yeah, the autos are like, they're rare. High demand, like you said, there's a lot of people that do like set collecting on this just because it's such an oddity, you know? Good night. Yeah, those ones are harder, though, Brad. Those are, like, cut autos. So, like, I'm assuming one of ones in most cases. But, like, the other celebrity autos, like Danny McBride, Ken Young, um, Charlie Day, all that stuff, our professional bull rider. Can anybody look up how young that girl is? She literally looks like she's like a kid. Is she like the future of bull riding? Is she the Naomi Osaka of PBR? She's 13, Ties? Ooh. What you're saying is she's going to be uh, in the bull riding uh, ring for a long time. She's four foot two and 70 pounds. How does she not just get thrown off of every single bull? Does it say anything about what the biggest bull that she's ridden is and like what her accomplishments are? B 
Bull, nothing about bull riding is safe, Tice. I don't think they. I don't think that that's the way they market it. They don't go, hey, it's kind of safe. I don't think anybody goes. Hmm. I wonder. The one of one on uh, Dustin for Mr. Rogers on eBay. That's cool. What's the average career span of a bull rider? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Ty, I'm gonna Google that when I get home. I'm picturing like my nephew, cause my nephew's 13. He's more than 70 pounds. I think he's taller than four foot ten. She doesn't have a Wikipedia. What's wrong with Wikipedia? Come down the last three boxes. Here's where we find our petrified mammoth. One of one relic. Where Tice is then going to be able to genetically recreate the woolly mammoth species and take over the world. A la Jurassic Park, but with friendly mammoths. Everybody bow down to our new king, Tice. It's gonna do it. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> it starts off friendly. <laughs> Until Tice trains them to all flip. We still have our box toppers too. Let's see if we can find something cool in there. I, I think it's like I think it's literally like a one of one I think it's like a it's like it's probably like skin or like bone from like a mammoth or like something like that like a little piece you know what I mean like a relic like the NASA suits and stuff like that but isn't the tusk te technically like a fingernail like I know like um with elephants and rhinos, their horns and stuff are like, are made out of the same stuff that our fingernails and our, our toenails are made out of. So it's still living, but it's not like, you know? So I feel like it would die off quicker than like bones, like it would disintegrate quicker than bone would. Any zoologists in the chat that can correct me on my inaccuracies? Whale and bison are on eBay. How do those look? Right, Prim? We're going to pull it for Tice right now. The mammoth is listed on eBay? Come on. Okay, petrified alligator. That's the next one. Switching, uh, switching attention. We're now going alligator. Oh, it's one out of twenty-five. So wait, we can still get it. 
We can still get a mammoth then. Well then Tice, you're gonna have to get the whole set of 25 to recreate your mammoth. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult than we thought. This is about to be a <laughs> Uh, here's the thing. If it's a his, like a um, prehistoric crocodile or alligator, you know that thing is gonna be as big as like a, a, like a rhino right now. So. What was the? Anybody remember that movie with the giant crocodile? Or alligator that was like in the lake. It was a terrible like horror movie. Lake Placid, that's the one, Dustin. There you go, Mark. Such an awful movie. I remember, wasn't the wasn't it like a? Yeah, that's right. She would just leave him down on the edge of the water. It's friendly to me. Yeah, she fed her husband to it too, didn't she, Dustin? Wasn't it on accident or something? Uh, I've never seen that, Brad. I don't think I've seen it. Is that the one with Rock? The Rock did one movie a couple years ago that it was that like earthquake one. It looked so bad. I was like, I can't, I can't do that. She did. Okay, that's what I thought. So that skyscraper, San Andreas. I could like Tice. It looked so bad that I was like, I can't watch that. And like, my girlfriend loves The Rock, but even she, I was just like, so it is pretty bad. Okay. What was it last? Was it last weekend or the weekend before? We got into like terrible movies that are awesome, like awesomely good to watch. I remember somebody was mentioning like we we ended up like going down this like tunnel of or like rabbit hole of like White House related movies, like Murder at sixteen hundred. And then somebody brought up um, what's the the alien one? Where they blow up the White House and all that stuff. That was fun. <laughs> Mars attacks. That's right. Yeah, we got into that chat. That was so. That was a great deep dive into awfully great movies. I feel like Mars attacks was just way way ahead of its time. So good. I might try to find that when I get home tonight and set it up so I can watch it tomorrow. Maybe try to consume some cannabis of some sort. So is somebody mentioned Dark is Dark Man is Dark Man a movie? Whenever I hear Darkman, I think of Dayman and Nightman from uh, It's Always Sunny. Tice, that's the uh, Train to Busan. That's the zombie one, right? And they, they just did a, um, what's it called? A sequel to it? it so it's um, it's subtitles, right? I wanted to watch it. I heard it's incredible. Is it really good or is it just like bad good? Like so bad that it's good. So Dark Man's one of Liam Neeson's first movies. You don't like subtitles? I love subtitles. 
But like, it also you need all it needs all my attention. You know what I mean? That's the only bad thing about subtitles. Like, um, there's a movie. So Bajo de Sal is really good. Oh, really? Oh, that's awesome, Brad. I'm gonna have to watch that. I love when like it's terrible quality movies like that. So Dustin never watched it. Obviously, everybody said really good things about it and like the filming and everything of it. But I never watched it. I should probably though. Bajo de Sal, Under the Salt, really good. Like um, uh, City of God, incredible. It's sequel City of Men, okay. Still good, but City of like it just doesn't stack up to City of God. Um, there was a movie I just saw, right, Brad? City of Men was okay. Like, I got what they were trying to do. But, Cinema Paradiso? There's a movie called The Platform that I just recently watched within the last, like, six months. That was just a mind trip and horrifying and great at the same time. It's like, it's bad, but it's good. <laughs> okay, last boxes, guys. Let's find something crazy in here. Let's go out with a bang. Who's this guy? Actor and comedian Steve Byrne. Relic. So wait, is 2012 a movie? Maybe I've seen it and I've just put it into the back of my head so I never forget it or never remember it. Gavin Lux for the Dodgers, Kevin Parker. Like survived it and like it was horrible or what? El Mariachi. Javi Baez, Relic, for the Chicago Cubs. Ryan Harrell. Uh, no, Brad, I haven't. I don't think so. Oh. Uh, so, like, is it, like, good in a good way or bad? 2012 like is it actually a good movie or is it just like so bad that it's just like oh oh uh, yeah yeah okay He 
did it for ten thousand dollars and everything was only one take. It's kind of rough. It wasn't terrible, Mark. Safari sites, the leopard. Who? Who's Peppy? Anybody? Maria Pepe? Baseball pioneer? Is she, uh... Is she one of the girls from... From, uh... The... That movie? The Georgia Peaches? <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, there you go, Brad. 1972, age 12, she pitched three Little League games for the Young Democrats team in Hoboken, New Jersey. There you go, Tice. That's cool. That's actually pretty cool. Well, there you go. Maria Pepe. From what it says, she pitched three games. Laser. Nico Horner, Cubs, Ryan Harold. That's more Little League games than I've ever pitched. Tim Anderson. Didi. Paul DeYoung for the St. Louis Cardinals. Uh, Matt Beckman. <laughs> well, Laser, think about this. Go back to 1972 and the male-dominated Little League Baseball. And think about yourself being a 12-year-old girl. And trying to break into that. Maybe that's like her version of bull riding. That was her bull. Well, that's what I'm saying, Brad. Little League Baseball, we've got, we've got women's leagues now too, right? But then it wasn't. So... We're uh, we're breaking barriers here. Tice is getting the the barrier breakdown. Yuli Gurriel for the Toronto Blue Jays and Max Chi. Which one? He's going to have a lot. Oh, that one's creepy. So it's under the it's the ocean. And like, there's obviously an octopus, and then the tent, like the the suction cups on it, light up in in the dark. That's cr creepy. Jordan, 
out uh, Astros, Jared Morling. The stairs one is creepy too, because there's like legit like a a figure, like you can see it. It's gross. If I see the chest one, I gotta see what that one is. The under the bed, I didn't notice that, Dustin. If I see it, I'm gonna look at it. Aquino for the Reds, Matt Stubblefield. Crack Day Chevaliers. I apologize to anybody that speaks good other language. I probably butchered that. I know I butchered it. Dustin Pedroia, Boston Red Sox, David Verkommen. Hit by pitch, nine ways to get on base. Definitely one way to get on base. Increase your on base percentage. Doesn't count as an at bat. Project X was about monkeys. Isn't that the one? But that's not the party one. Isn't that the one where the kids throw the party? That's not Project X. I love that movie. Oh, Laser, that's a great movie. Brendan McKay, uh, Tampa Bay, Mike Gallucci. That's such an incredible movie. Nico Horner, Cubs, Ryan Harold. Great soundtrack, too. Cal Ripken Jr. Relic. Uh, for the Baltimore Orioles. And Walter Summers. Brendan McKay Mini. Tampa Bay Michael Gallucci. Is that the one where they test? Yeah, that's the one, Mark. That's what I was thinking. They test on all the animals and then they try to release them. I remember that. Matthew Broderick was super young and he was trying to be like the, the guy to help the, uh, bring the release of the monkeys. I remember that. That was a sad movie because all the sick monkeys really gets you. Dark Tunnel. The tunnel shines. I don't like sick animals. Laser Jet, can you uh, inform me on what the difference is? Joey Votto, Cincinnati Reds, Matthew Stubblefield. What's the difference between a chimp and a monkey? The Addict. Nico Horner. Cubs. Ryan Harold. Simeons. <laughs> That's my favorite laser. I don't know what they are, what's the difference, but they're different. I was going to say, I was like, is it like common knowledge? Like, I, I'm, trust me, I, there's a little, I guarantee I don't, I know very little about most things in life. I was like, but is it like common knowledge that like a monkey and a chimp are two different things? And if so, when do you, when were you supposed to learn this in life and, and what is that difference? Gavin Lux for the Dodgers, Kevin Parker. Safari Sites, Hippo. I like that. 
Arachnophobia. That movie was great. Just burn the whole house down. Williams Ostadio. Minnesota Twins. Uh, Brandon Morocco. Luis Robert. Chicago White Sox. Adam Harper. Dragonfly. Chicken. Tandron. I don't know. He's a baseball barber. Guys, that's the that's the break. Now we got our box toppers. Let's check those out. What was, okay, um, you guys will remember this. It was a pretty, I guess, I, I don't think I've ever rewatched it. It was a movie, a Quentin Tarantino movie, I'm almost positive. I was a kid. I remember my parents renting it from Blockbuster for us to watch. And it was about vampires, and I think it had a very very good looking girl I don't, can't think of her name um, I think it had to do with like Mexico also is that the one Mark there's like a strip club scene and like it's super gory Salma Hayek that's the one Brad thank you very much Salma Hayek um, <laughs> I was a kid <laughs> and I remember my, my parents rented this movie and like like one it was Gore, all types of gore, right? And, like, all types of, like, very pro provocative sexy scenes and stuff like that, too, right? Like, sexy vampire scenes. <laughs> I was a kid. I, 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 we did not finish watching that movie. <laughs> I just remember, like, sitting down, right? I just remember sitting down and just watching that and just being like, huh, okay, cool. I don't think I've ever watched the rest of it. I remember, wasn't there? Isn't there a scene with like a uh, with like a mobile home or like an RV where they're driving around in it and stuff like that? Oh. I have to watch that movie too. Fred Williamson and Tom Savini were they in the movie? That's right. That's right, Mark. Isn't Danny Trejo in that too? <coughs> I feel like I remember him being in it. Yeah. Black Exploitation, Brad, or Black Exploration? I remember the Black Exploitation like movie stuff. Brad, is he cool? He seems like he'd be a really cool guy. I hope he is. Yeah, exploit. Okay. He seems like he'd be a cool guy. All right, we have to do the box toppers before we get ready. 
Cool. Box topper time. Let's see something cool here, guys. Oh, Mike Trout. That's kind of cool. The world's champions. Mike Trout. Los Angeles Angels. Jim Bly. Oh, that's cool. Does he live in Vancouver, Brad? Garrett Cole for the New York Yankees. Matt Medlin. Oh, he lives in L.A.? Okay. Christian Yelich. I like that. Milwaukee Brewers, Rory Wagner. Nice. Freddie Freeman. He is playing out of his mind. Has anybody looked? Did uh, did anybody else see the stat about his first two weeks after he came back into the league, um, after he recovered from COVID? And then the his the numbers his numbers since those two weeks. Oh. Pete Alonzo for the Mets. Ryan Harold. Uh, the Braves was going to Chris Walker. That Freddie Freeman. Oh, uh, Tom Savini. Oh. Dawn of the Dead is at this, is being shown at this shopping mall. That's kind of cool. Yadi Molina. St. Louis Cardinals, Matt Beckman. Javi Baez. Chicago Cubs, Ryan Harold. Clayton Kershaw for the Dodgers and Kevin Parker. Aaron Judge. New York Yankees, Matt Medlin. Bo Bichette, very nice. Toronto Blue Jays, Max Chi, rookie box topper. Another Pete Alonzo, New York Mets, Ryan Harold. I don't think so, Brad. I don't see one. And another Freddie Freeman for the Atlanta Braves and Chris Walker. Um, let's pause the video and get ready for a recap. Hi, everybody. Sean, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Tops Allen Ginter, baseball 12 box case break, pick your team number three. Just wrapped up. Had a nice break. Lots of fun. Awesome chatting. Really cool looking cards. Some weird oddities. We did started the break with the randomizer uh, for $250 in break credit. Five people, $50 each. Congrats to these folks. Each one of you guys will be getting an email from me shortly with uh, $50 in break credit. But let's do a little recap real quick. Had lots of good rookies, obviously. Good rookie class. Lots and lots and lots of good rookie names in this. Robert, Lewis, Bichette, Alvarez, Aquino, Horner, McKay. You can see the, the way this is looking. Lots of each. We did, uh, obviously, there's, I think, a hot box per case. But our hot box had all the good rookies in there, pretty much. So, that was nice.
A lot more good rookies. Boom. Then, some good rookie minis here. And starting off with the fun stuff. Some relics. Jeff Dye, Nigel Houston, Steve Byrne, as far as celebrities. Christian Vasquez, Clint Frazier, uh, Joey Lucchesi, Yusai Kikuchi, Johnny Cueto, uh, John Means, Johnny Cueto, Dustin Pedroia, Yuli Gurriel, Mike Soroka, Kyle Schwarber, Dust, uh, Jason Hayward, Xander Bogart, Joey Votto, Jason Hayward, Charlie Blackman. Sinsu Chu, Andrew Benintendi, Paul DeYoung, George Brett, uh, Glaber, Cal Ripken, Jeff Flag, uh, Flag Bagwell, Javi Baez. This is a 13-year-old professional bull rider by the name of Najla Knight. Apparently, she is 5'10 and weighs about 70 pounds, and she rolls, rides full-size bulls. Scary. Uh, Mary Pepe. Who, uh, Maria Pepe, sorry, Maria. Uh, she broke down the barrier for women into uh, Little League Soccer. Or not Little League Soccer, Little League Baseball. Um, so, pretty cool. Uh, 1972, she pitched three Little League games before they closed it down to women. Williams Asadio, Dansby Swanson, Nick Senzel. And we got three rip cards. Eloy Jimenez, four out of 99. Anthony Rizzo, 68 out of 99. And Christian Yelich, 69. Nice. Out of 99. Guys, nice break overall. Obviously, those are the people that got credit. Congratulations once again. And that was 2020 Top Talent again to baseball 12 box case break. Pick your team number three. Pick your team number two is locked in uh, one spot left. That all non-sports uh, locked in a filler break. Close it out. We can do that tomorrow. I'm Sean, jazpyscasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time.